One and a half billion years ago, a single landmass stretched across much of the planet. Beneath it, the crust began to strain. Cracks widened. Magma surged through the fractures. Oceans spilled into the rifts and turned the sky into a haze of volcanic gas. The world was changing at a pace measured in millimeters per year. Researchers from the University of Sydney and the University of Adelaide have now rebuilt that ancient transformation in detail. Their new study in Earth and Planetary Science Letters shows how the breakup of the supercontinent Nuna cooled Earth's climate and opened the path to complex life. Using a two billion year plate motion reconstruction linked to a thermodynamic carbon model, the team tracked how carbon dioxide moved between the mantle, oceans, and atmosphere. When Nuna began to split around 1.46 billion years ago, the length of shallow continental shelves doubled to about 130,000 kilometers. Volcanic emissions of carbon dioxide dropped by more than half. The new crust absorbed carbon from seawater, cooling the planet and enriching the oceans with oxygen. In those calmer, oxygenated seas, the first eukaryotic cells appeared about 1.05 billion years ago. Life with a nucleus, the origin of all complex organisms. The data show that tectonic motion, not chance, triggered this change. Moving plates reshaped the carbon cycle, the atmosphere, and the chemistry of the seas. The team has released all workflow data publicly and plans to extend the model to include biological productivity through deep time. The record suggests that the beginning of complex life started with the slow fracture of a continent. 